my guys it is a spectacularly gorgeous over the top beautiful spring night in the collapse of everything here on Sunday evening uh, April 7th 2024 as the entire planet the entire planet in freak out mode over this eclipse tomorrow oh boy and uh, we have a tragedy I have run out of tequila fortunately I have a blue moon Belgian white beer to get me through this beautiful spring night and guys you know I guess you can call this kind of a PS to my ain't gonna happen roundup rant uh, on on Friday. It's almost like I have become the ain't gonna happen chronicles. And this is over here at medium.com. I don't know if I've ever mentioned this guy, Ray Katz, K-A-T-Z. Ray Katz, uh, he is not a clueless moron. He is an apocaloptimist. He is what I call a droomer. He is a droomer. He, he understands that we are fucked, but he's one of these people who, probably a breeder, I'm 99.9% .9 sure he's a breeder because he keeps mentioning our children and our grandchildren and it obviously not speaking to me because I don't have any children or grandchildren so I don't know who he's talking to he's not talking to me he's not talking to Sancho Panza but anyway maybe he's only talking to other breeders but anyway this fellow Ray He's just obviously such a nice guy, and, and you know, and I feel kind of bad. Uh, just you know, just just questioning Ray's enthusiasm for uh, for the kumbaya uh, school of thought, how humanity, where you, you, you know, I guess this critical mass of uh, conscious humans are going to look around, say, we are fucking this planet and we need to stop and we're all going to stop. We're going to go right on breeding. We're not going to stop fucking each other, but we're going to stop fucking the planet, I guess is what he's talking about. So, but but he's such a nice guy, and and I just feel c kind of bad. I'm 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 not talking trash about Ray Katz. I I am quite sure this fellow is a nice guy. His heart is in the right place, but unfortunately, half of his brain is in the wrong place, and I won't tell you where that place is half of his brain is in the right place he, you know the doomer part of his brain is that other part of his brain that has disappeared uh, but anyway he's he has he, I guess he is actually the leader of this group of uh, apocaloptimist droomers calling themselves the singers S A N E R S, not S E I N E R S. He, I don't think he's a fisherman. He's a the Saners, S A N E R S. You know, with all of the insaners on the planet, he's offering an alternative, and he is uh, calling all fellow apocaloptimists. It, particularly it sounds like he's talking to breeders about how we can save the planet and uh, so I'm just going and, and I'm not making fun of Ray Katz or the Saners here okay guys 
their heart is in the right place. I just need to point out some uh, inconvenient truths to the saner. So this is one of his latest essay came out yesterday, I think, <clears throat> titled Humans, Humans Will Stop Destroying the Earth. The only question, or questions, the only question is how and when. Okay, it's a settled statement that humans will stop destroying the earth, and I agree with Ray that at some point humans are going to stop destroying the earth. The only question is how and when. So I'm going to get back to answering this question. But first, I just want to read the uh, the main germ of this. Uh, you know, he goes through a little bit of the you know the uh, the we are fucked. Uh, but then he gets to the hopium. Okay, this is the saner's plan and action. The solution, you know, the, 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 the solution to saving the planet is obvious. The solution is challenging but doable. We have the moral obligation and the ability to carry it out. We need a plan and a movement together. We actually have a movement. Well, I, I think we have about 8 billion movements uh, every day piling up all over the planet. But I don't think he's talking about bowel movements here. Maybe he's talking about another movement. We actually have a movement. We have thousands of movements. Groups of people everywhere who want to save the earth from climate collapse. People who are ready and anxious to act. People who will not rest until the danger to their children, to everyone's children, is removed. Well, I, I don't want to break in here with my anti-natalism but if they had never had children, their children would not be in danger. Someone who is never born cannot be in danger. But, but anyway, uh, this is Ray's rant talking about everyone's children. I am the founder of one of the thousands one of the thousands of Save the Planet movements, the Saners, the Saners. Our mission is the same as that of the others, but we want to empower all of these movements in a way they have never been before. We want all of us to have a science-based plan to rally behind and to use all of our ability to ensure it is carried out fully to the letter. That plan will need to be made by scientists. Scientists. The groundwork has already been done. For decades, we have had 15,000. For decades, we have had 15,000 scientists working diligently to understand the situation. They already know, as well as anyone does, what must be done to avoid the worst. The Saners is, you know, is it the Saners is or the Saners are? I, I would, it's his group, I would have thought is the Saners are, but anyway, the Saners, since I guess it's one group, 
is trying to assemble a group of capable climate scientists and other experts to derive, to devise first a preliminary plan. That's first. A preliminary plan to save the planet. And then a more complete one. We need something now so we can finally begin doing what nature requires. And the saners and all of us, all of those who care about the earth and life will work together going over the heads of authorities and institutions and big oil and whoever threatens our planet to save the world and build a better civilization. Yes, we need a better civilization. We will replace the colossal failure of the current civilization, the one that led us to doom with its lust for wealth and power and total disregard for life and nature. The Saners is committed to working with scientists and all other sincere nature protectors. We are even committed to taking care of our foolish opponents because we understand that even dictators, we understand that even dictators and plutocrats and oil executives don't want to doom their own children and the earth. They just don't seem to be able to help themselves. We will cure them of their bad habits and ensure that they live out a better and more respectable life than what they've done up to now. And then he goes on and invites you. Uh, I'll put the link on here if you want to join the Saners. Uh, I'll put the link on how you can join Raycats and the Saners you know, to put big oil out of business, to just, just, just override the global industrial civilization, to uh, just push those dictators uh, out of the way, and, and we're, we're, we're going to get a bunch of these Save the Planet scientists, uh, you, you, you know, a lot of them uh, touting the, the big green lie, we're all going to, you know, the, the, the score, we're all going to come together, sing Kumbaya, and, uh, and, and save the planet. There, there's, there's just one problem with the Saner's plan. Well, there's several problems, but from my Doomer perspective, it, 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 as much as I love the, uh, the sound of the Saner's plan, uh, I've been down this rabbit hole. I went down this rabbit hole in 2008. Okay, so for the past 16 years of my life, 16 years of my life, has been devoted to looking at the situation on the planet to try to wrap my brain around how truly fucked we are and after 16 years down here in the Doomosphere uh, reading good 
God, how about, you know, like, like three uh, PhD levels uh, of books, uh, interviewing a, a couple of hundred people. I see exactly zero. Zero. As in not one iota, not one sliver of evidence. I, 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 don't, I do not see one iota of ecological evidence, biological evidence, archaeological evidence, anthropological evidence, uh, economic evidence, or political evidence. Not, not one shred in any of those to support what Ray Katz is claiming the saners are, are, are going to do. In fact, after being down here, uh, what is it, 16 years down here studying the situation, you know, grazing through all of these areas so I don't get bogged down in, 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 into one of them, every single bit, 100% of the evidence, 100% of the ecological, biological, archaeological, anthropological, economic, and political, well, historical, did I leave out historical? I guess I was, that was kind of in there. 100% of the evidence that I see uh, completely contradicts everything that Ray Katz said. 100% of the evidence. It's, it's not like it's a 50-50 that could go either way. We have zero evidence to support Ray Katz's conclusion, 100% of the evidence on every single level contradicts it. And, 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 I, and I hate to say it, guys, sorry, we're fucked. And uh, so, but I do agree with Ray Katz that humans will stop destroying the earth. The only question is how and when. Well, he's only pointed positing it as one question, so I'm only going to give it a one give it one answer. Humans will stop destroying the earth the day that humans go extinct. So the question, when will humans go extinct, is the day that the last human on the planet with no children dies. That is the answer. When humans will go extinct is when the last human dies. On that day is when humans will stop destroying the planet, and how that will happen is because there will be no humans to do anything to destroy the planet. You know, I was just over there on that other channel. Uh, anyone knows uh, that other channel can go uh, look at the video I posted. Showing what, what I have been up to. Uh, so, uh, my friends and I, we bought this one, it's 1.2 acres of uh, the, the, this vacant land in Inverness, Florida, 
which was way overgrown with uh, all, all kinds of tangled underbrush and stuff that, uh, you know, fire uh, should have been keeping out. And I started two weeks ago. This is one man. I, I am a 64-year-old with a bad back in a herniated shoulder working alone. No help. I have had, th this is my total arsenal, I had a 16 inch chainsaw, a steel MS-170, one 16 inch chainsaw, a, uh, a brush whacker with a four inch blade on it, a four inch blade. Uh, my guess is I have used two gallons of gasoline. The absolute outside three gallons of gasoline, one little chainsaw, a brush whacker, a, a hand saw and a pair of lopping shears. And the amount of destruction that I have created. And uh, I, I could have done this w w without the chainsaw, without the brush cutter, one 64-year-old white man with a bad back and a herniated shoulder, it, it would obviously have moved a lot slower. What's taken me two weeks because of fossil, if I had been armed with one handheld brush saw and a pair of lopping shears, I could have done the, the same amount of destruction to this planet. It would take me, it would take me instead of two weeks, about two months. In two months, I could pr pretty much just completely transform one acre of land. All right, with no help from fossil fuels. You multiply that times eight billion. Eight billion. No fossil fuels. You hand eight billion humans a, a, a bow saw and a pair of lopping shears. Okay? And you send eight billion humans onto this planet, no help from fossil fuels. And you will watch what happens. Humans are the biggest threat to this planet. Anyone who is sane realizes it is children and future generations. It is humans that are destroying the planet and will keep destroying the planet until the day the last human dies and humans go extinct. So as long as there's goddamn breeders cranking out more children, more humans, uh, the humans will keep destroying this planet. All right? You don't need a fucking big oil executive. You don't need a politician. You don't need a uh, whatever else he said. You, you know what I'm saying. Uh, it, 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 you, you can uh, get rid of capitalism. You can get rid of MAGA Republicans. You can put big oil out of business. You can put the fucking caterpillar 
corporation out of business, none of which are going to happen anyway. But even if you did, it would slow it down a little bit. But anyway, Ray, uh, you know, if, if it helps Ray Cats sleep better tonight, or it, it helps anybody listening to this uh, to join the Saners or whatever. I'm not saying that the Saners are, are uh, you know, bad folks. If it helps you sleep tonight, join the fucking Saners. Go ahead. Join the Saners the Sierra Club, the Audubon Society, uh, the Save the Fucking Whales, whatever, join it, uh, do whatever you can to keep your little piece uh, of the planet uh, from collapsing, you know, trying to get your little corner of the planet another two or three years. Uh, I'm 100% in support uh, uh, of anybody joining all of these environmental movements. 100% in favor of it. You go, brother. You go, sister. It's just that, that if you think uh, th that you're doing a fucking thing to save this planet, if you could keep your tiny little corner uh, alive for a few more years, uh, good for you. What, what I am going to dedicate my life uh, to doing is trying to convince clueless fucking moron breeders to keep their fucking peckers in their pants and don't let their knickers down. If I have convinced one potential breeder and they last 16 years if I anything I have ever done has convinced one breeder or two breeders as the case may be to have one less child one fewer child if, if I have prevented the birth of one child by anything I have ever said or done uh, in, in my life, I have done all I can do. That's all I can do is keep these clueless fucking moron breeders to keep their goddamn pecker in their pants and to not let their knickers down. It is your children, your grandchildren, and the future generations of humans that will keep destroying this planet until the day there are no more humans. Humans go extinct and that will be how and when humans will stop destroying the planet. The only question being is how many of our fellow earthlings are, are going to still be surviving the, the, the day that great event happens. The sooner humans become extinct, the better the chance for every other earthling we share this planet with to start fixing the big fucking mess humans have made of the place. Anyway, call me an insaner. Just a crazy idea. Keep your fucking pecker in your pants. And don't let your knickers down. The insaners. Sorry, saners. We're fucked. Bye, guys.